it is my sad duty to once again report a site fatality in the UK demolition industry. A site in Slough now joins Didcot, Redcar, Alongannet and many others on a list of places that will be forever inextricably linked with a demolition death. Like each of those previous incidents, the company involved this time was a member of the National Federation of Demolition Contractors. This time it was Arcolard Limited. Following hot on the heels of the almost £60 million in fines handed down to NFDC members found to be involved in bid rigging, price fixing and collusion, this latest fatality once again calls into question the NFDC's claim of elite status. But that is for another day. Now before I go any further, I will state for the record that I like Rob Collard. I have enormous respect for all that he and his company have achieved over the years. I regularly hold up R. Collard as an example of Demolition's commitment to recycling. I've been on a number of R. Collard sites over the years, and in my personal experience, the company runs a tight ship. But what I find remarkable is not the accident itself, but the response of those within the UK demolition industry. When I reported the news yesterday, I received a whole heap of responses on social media. Sad news, said one. Thoughts and prayers are with the family, said a good few others. Those comments were well-intentioned, I'm sure. But they're also trite. They're a cliché. The exact same comments accompanied the deaths of the four men killed at Didcot Power Station back in 2016. They accompanied the deaths of two workers at Redcar. They accompanied the death of a man killed at Long Gannett Power Station. And they accompanied the anniversaries of each of those tragedies as well. Thoughts and prayers. I is that it? Is that all we've got? Have we now become so desensitised to demolition deaths that we actually have a go-to phrase book for just such an occasion? And if we are going to have a phrase with which to respond to a site death, should it not be something like, not again? Why? How is this still happening in this day and age? That is a fucking disgrace. How can we help the family of the deceased? Not after a prolonged and protracted investigation, but now, right now, right now when they need emotional and financial support. Site deaths should not be greeted with sadness. They should not be a trigger for default platitudes. They should be a trigger for anger and for a desire to help. There is a family right now that needs help. Our collective thoughts and prayers will not pay their bills. They will not cover the cost of a funeral and they will not put food on the table. Legally, companies have a duty of care for their employees in life. Morally, they should have a duty of care for their families in death. <laughs>